Letitia Kali, and I am the new quality director at the medical device operation here in Auburn, Alabama. What attracted me to Aptar was the fact that this particular group was going to start and embark on a new medical device operation. And I have 35 years of experience in this role. So what attracted to me this role to me was the fact that I was going to have an opportunity to come in and start up a brand new facility. So my journey as an underrepresented minority in engineering, it's been pretty good. I have to admit that. Have there been some challenges? Absolutely. Because I came through engineering in the early 1980s. There were interesting times in the US in the 80s. But early on, when I embarked on my career, you know, the sentiment back then was that I had not earned my spot, that it was given to me because of who I was or specifically what I looked like. And that coupled with the fact that usually I was the only black engineer or probably the only woman period in the room, it was tough sometimes. But you know what? I was prepared. I was very ambitious. So outside of Aptar, the largest accomplishment I have received to date was recently just achieved. Earlier this year, I was asked to serve on the Industrial and Systems Engineering Advisory Board at Georgia Tech, my alma mater. And this advisory board is comprised of distinguished professionals and community leaders who give support, advice, and guidance on strategic initiatives to the school. And for me to be asked was so exciting because, you know, I just feel like I'm Letitia Khalid Smith. And to be a part of distinguished group, to bring my expertise and extensive industry knowledge to the school was awesome. The greatest leadership and engineering lesson that I have learned to date, I actually learned it very early on in my career. And it is that people are the organization's greatest asset. That is so important. So to me, I have learned always get to know my people, always be kind, always be respectful, and to give credit where credit is due. And if I can leverage what the operators know, who are the most hands-on with the process, then I can use that knowledge and leverage that information that they share with me to be a better engineer, as well as to be a better leader. I have been so excited on um, watching all of the diversity and inclusion and the development of the employee resource groups. I am have been involved with a lot of these organizations and other companies. So it is great to be here and see Aptar embark on the launching of these programs. I have been actively involved with them in the past with other organizations. And I am so excited to, to be a part of Align. Um, I'm looking forward to being a part of the, the, the Black Network group as well and, and to just participate where and with whomever <laughs> just to ensure that we are being all inclusive in the organization. I mean, exciting as a woman, as an African-American, it makes me feel good to know that Aptar is being holistic in their approach and is wanting to make sure that everyone feels valued and that everyone feels important, that everyone has a key role in the success of this organization. And I'm just looking forward to being a part. And I just want to give a kudos to the organization for just really um, believing in the importance and valuing diversity in our organization and taking the next steps to make sure that this is an awesome, continue to be an awesome company and a great culture to work in.